The lynx is one of those animals that have been talked about time and time again when it comes to rewilding Britain. Is the lynx more controversial than the wolf? Are we closer to reintroducing the lynx over the wolf? Would people be more inclined to have the lynx back in our landscape? Or is it just straight out no to any predators? Hi everyone, welcome to Animal Educate. My name's Abby, and today we're going to be looking at the Eurasian lynx. The Eurasian lynx territory spans across Europe all the way to Asia. When it comes to reintroducing predators back into the UK, it usually ends up in a very heated discussion, ping pong of exhilarated emotions. It comes with a lot of cultural baggage. It seems everyone has a theory on reintroducing wolves back to the UK, well, what about the lynx? Surely it's the less controversial out of the two. And I have to say, I can't really make my mind up on whether we are for the lynx coming back or not. So could the lynx potentially be the first carnivore to come back to the UK, to Scotland? Surely the lynx is the most realistic candidate. The Eurasian lynx survived in Scotland until it went extinct about 1,300 years ago. This was due to hunting and habitat loss. But there's lots of confusion with timings. A well-preserved skull was found in Sutherland, thought to be about 4,000 years old. This might indicate that the lynx died out because Scotland became a wetter maritime climate. But recent radiocarbon dating revealed that the skull is actually 1,800 years old. Plus, the lynx survive in similar conditions elsewhere. So it's pretty clear that the demise of the lynx was down to persecution and loss of forest cover. The lynx has also suffered similar declines across Europe, but with recent conservation efforts, their populations are recovering. They've been reintroduced to Germany, Switzerland and Slovenia. Having the lynx back in Britain may restore ecological processes back to our forests. One of the main reasons to reintroduce the lynx is to keep the roe deer populations down. They're overpopulated, so the lynx will manage those populations, especially where new trees are being planted. There's also what's known as the ecology of fear. Now, this means that when you have predators such as the lynx and the wolf, when they're around, when they're present, they keep prey animals such as roe deer on the move. This means they're never really in an area for too long, which means they don't get to overindulge in that area for too long. They're always on the move. Ultimately, this changes the behavior of those animals and it prevents them from overgrazing, which allows vegetation to establish. The way that they help the environment is quite extensive. The lynx will also eat foxes, rodents, hares, reindeer, birds, but it's also the carcasses that they leave behind. These carcasses feed a whole array of animals. These carcasses also help to fertilize the soils as they decay. In a Norwegian forest, they found a greater diversity of beetles around the carcasses of roe deer than anywhere else in the forest. So in your position, it's usually about animals that are bred for food. It's about space. The lynx rarely hunt out in the open, so unless the sheep are kept in woodlands, they're not going to prey on them. The risk of predation on sheep, for example, is greater when the fields border the woodlands. But again, this is quite unusual. In Scotland, the majority of sheep are grazed in open fields, not forests. Also, when livestock guarding dogs are used and intensive sheep herding, the risk of predation decreases again. The lynx probably does have an advantage over the wolf. The lynx isn't a threat to human safety, neither is the wolf, but the wolf is probably perceived to be more of a threat than the lynx. The wolf has far more cultural baggage and the lynx's size probably isn't as intimidating. And plus there's no recorded attacks. Unlike the wolf that hunts in packs, the lynx, they're solitary hunters. Humans are going to perceive pack animals as a threat to their safety because you're dealing with more than one individual. Also across Europe, where measures are put into place to protect livestock from wolves, 
tend to be very effective with the links. So it's certainly going to be easier for Britain to get its head around introducing the links over the wolf. Inevitably, there's going to be extensive debate about whether the links can come back to the UK or not. Through time and positive dialogue, that negativity can be expelled. We know that Britain needs to start to tolerate wildlife, wildlife that we're not familiar with. Wildlife's a wonderful thing, and all of these animals that we need to get to know. We need to learn about them. Don't listen to the stories that you hear. Don't just go with one source of information and do the research yourself. Nature isn't linear. It's not a pretty garden with perfect hedges. It's cyclical. Nature is wild. The lynx can teach us. It can help us to tolerate predatory animals. It could even pave the way for the wolf. What do you think? Thanks for watching today. If you have any questions or you just want to comment, please do. And also subscribe to my channel and hit that like button if you've enjoyed the video. Catch you next time.